does your gut actually heal fully? And I think that's such a good question to tie that all together because just to build on what you were saying, it's such a dynamic process. Like if you look at the number of bacteria, like commensal bacteria, symbiotic bacteria, we are more bacteria than we are human cells. So we're basically like a walking Petri dish, if you will. I heard, I can't remember the exact wording of it, but there's many jokes about it where we're just like, is are we a human or is the bacteria kind of just created us to breed themselves? Like it's a very interesting concept with how much we are. But I like to put some numbers for clarity. I mean, if we're talking gut lining, it can heal within about two to 12 weeks if we're talking ulceration, severe inflammation. But that process is dynamic. If we're six weeks in and then take a course of antibiotics, it's not just going to continue for the next 12 weeks. One of the ways I typically liken it to, and I know a lot of people in with RA don't struggle with their weight, but there's no cure for obesity, right? You lose weight, but if you go back to the previous habits, the weight comes back and the gut health is very similar. We're not going to get to a place of gut health where you can just go and then throw whatever fuel on the fire that you wish in the future. Does it become more resilient? Absolutely. Does it heal and become more tolerant? Absolutely. Can you destroy it? Absolutely. So I think it's very hard when people say, can it fully heal? The gut lining can definitely restore and become a lot more. When we think about things like leaky gut and the tight junctions, can things improve? Absolutely. And we know that from um, even my... um, I do a lot of, what's it called, GI mapping, right? And we can see improvements. It gets much better, but you can absolutely change it back to where it was, or you can continue on this dynamic path to heal that will occasionally just completely be thrown off by things out of your control. The other thing that relates to that, I've seen some really interesting studies around antibiotic use. And a lot of them are in children and childhood, and it gets worse as you get older. But a lot of them show a good two years to recover from one course of antibiotics, which is frightening. And I don't mean to discourage anyone, but sometimes it sets realistic expectations when you're worried why you don't feel better in a week, right? We see improvements within just a couple of weeks, but it may take years to get to your optimal state of health again. So I think if you wanted kind of any sort of parameter that's where i would think about for the gut health yeah i love that and the only two things i thought of to add to that um, number one so if we're in that fight or flight state where we're running from danger um, our gut becomes immediately permeable and it mm-hmm. floods our bloodstream with whatever is partially digested and whatever's in there to enable us to have instant fuel to survive so even if uh, you know we have so-called perfect uh, gut health, um, we are per- periodically, um, you know, having sort of um, uh, different degrees of permeability in our gut, depending on our lifestyle. And of course, stress is a is a is an ongoing low-grade state of flight or flight, so that increases uh, our uh, permeability on an ongoing basis. And then um what was the oh yeah and then the other thing to 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 finish off is that if we get an overgrowth of a pathogenic bacteria this can disrupt the microbiome and the production of short chain fatty acids which are used to fuel the epithelial cells and the goblet cells and therefore we are out of balance again because they're not getting the fuel to repair uh and so yep it's uh there's no lock it in it's safe like at the bank forever it's uh always a dance with our lifestyle as to what our gut is like 